like one of our security guys, he told me like I was bent over at the bar. I was like ordering a drink and shots and like these dudes walked in and they were checking out my ass. Yes. Success. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching, first and foremost. We have season nine, the long anticipated season nine of Vanderpump Rules coming up very soon. But instead of talking about the new upcoming season, I figure we should maybe go back. I'm already feeling right now that I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, because you know, when you watch yourself on a show like this, it brings up old emotions, old feelings. I, uh, I do get a little stressed out watching <laughs> old, old videos of us. So we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and check out some of your favorite, maybe not my favorite scenes in Vanderpump Rules. Well, here's clip one. Just do it, just do it. What? You got a tattoo. Wow, oh, come on, oh I don't want to see this. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It says Boba. It's commitment. It's a sign of Is commitment. That commitment. Yeah. Let's look at Tom's. <laughs> Dude, mine's oh, really bad. No, you didn't. You stupid. Dude, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, my god. oh my god, Tom. This is the worst tattoo I've ever seen. God. I thought these guys were stupid. But every time they take stupidity to a whole Lisa, new why level. you gotta call me out like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so wow, I get uh, I get anxiety just thinking about that tattoo. See, I see that flaming a tattoo. It's on my ass, so I don't like really ever see it. You know, Ariana's really the only one that sees it. So, <laughs> except when I like show it to people. But uh, we were in Vegas. I, had, I I felt bad. I felt bad. I left right after Ariana's birthday. I mean, but. Listen, I had to go because I'm not gonna stay here and like not film, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna go to Vegas and film a guy's trip. I realized it was right after Ariana's birthday and I feel, still feel bad about that. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, we did bulldoze some shit. It was pretty cool. But because I felt bad after, you know, a, two, three day bender of drinking in Vegas and not sleeping, barely. Um, we're like starting to get sentimental and it's like, you know, 5 a.m. Schwartz brought up the idea. He planted the seed in my head. Let's go get a tattoo. And I'm like, you know what? I love Ariana. Yes, yes. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna get an initial tattoo on my ass. And I literally Googled cool letter A. And the first one that popped up happened to have flames on it. And all I wanted, all I wanted was the font, not the flames. And the guy tattooed the flames on me. Yeah, I just, I kind of just went for it and it was just an epic failure. I got back, Ariana saw it and she was just like, what the hell did you do to your ass? Tom, dude, she was pissed. She was so annoyed with me. Ugh. Okay, well, let's go on to clip number two. Ah! With the dark wig, this I bitch. Like my vibe was 50 year old stepmom. With the blonde, I'm giving it this more sassy, sexy, youthful look. If I took <laughs> Sandoval's photo as a woman and put that on my dating app, he would get more likes than I would. Well, it's not seeing out wrong. Oh, God, Jax. Oh, oh, oh my God. Jax looks like your friend Tiffany, spelled with an I at the end, that like needs a ride to a check cashing place. Oh, my God. Huge penis. Visa Manderhum, Jen Rod. I don't even remember what Jax's name was. I think Tom and I take our fighting to extremes at times. Oh, I know that Katie, doesn't make any it's sense just getting people. started. Oh my God, so much to unpack here. Dude, this whole drag thing started with Schwartz saying like, you know, Schwartz thinks that like drag is just like, oh, you just, he's like, what if we do drag and I, like, like for my bachelor party? And I was like, 
Wait, you want to do drag? Schwartz, you, you sure? You sure you want to do drag? Cause like, we're not just throwing a wig on you, dude. And like a dress. We're like doing it. And he's like, yeah, okay. And then everybody was supposed to be in drag, but I was like, so I went out, I got everybody's wig. I got like, ev like all these different outfits. We got that sash for Schwartz, everything. I got shoes. I was like everybody's sizes, butt pads, bras, everything. Dude, <laughs> the thing that sucks too is like, I got everybody's wig, but I forgot my wig. So I was stuck with that like, Man, that fr I had to do a wig change. I had to do a wig change because that first wig that I had was just, I looked like, I looked like the 50 something year old, like stepmom who's like cool. You know what I mean? Like trying to hang out with like, you know, my stepdaughter's like friends, you know? Oh my God. Yeah. We're like friends. Like, oh my God. People say we look like sisters. It's like, dude, I looked kind of tragic with that wig on. But when I made the move, when I switched over to the Sia wig, like I feel like I really came into myself, you know? And it's funny because I came up with Visa Manderhump as my drag name and Schwartz was like, oh, I wanna be, I wanna be that. And I was like, all right, I'll give you my drag name. You can borrow it. So I went with Genrod. Okay, Visa Manderhump, Genrod. Uh, like Ken Todd, but dude, like that night, we walked into this place. It was a success. And the reason why it was a success to me is because like one of our security guys, he told me like I was bent over at the bar. I was like ordering a drink and shots and like these dudes walked in and they were fucking checking out my ass. Yes. Success. All right. Well, let's move on to the next clip. Here we go. Just one spin. Spin Dude, the spin the bottle. bottle. Come it. on, man. First of all, first of all, once again, I completely dressed Schwartz head to toe. Like, he's actually wearing, in this, in this scene right here, he is wearing the exact shirt that I wore in the TIP video. Um, and he's wearing my white suit. And this hat that I got that he's wearing, dude, he just proceeded to like, crumple it up like these hats like I mean, it's like a $200 hat and the dude just like crumpling it up grabbing it like just well I should have never even given like I gave him a white suit to wear dude day three in Louisiana on his bachelor trip dude come on man every time look at that hat it's ridiculous. How can somebody get, wait. Here's another thing I gotta tell you. Okay, do I wanna kiss Schwartz? I mean, not really, no, but I'm gonna be a team player. I'll kiss Jax, I'll kiss anybody. But like, dude, Sheena always has like these rules. She's like, Ugh. like if it would've landed on me, she'd be like, well, you know, I, I, I'll just kiss the person like next to you, it's Ariana. Okay, cool. Like, she always has these like rules. They're Sheena rules. To every game, Sheena always has her own rules. But yes, there's 20 people in the room and it freaking lands on me? Come on, man. So like, it's rigged, it's rigged. Anyways, this is now about to be. This is the last time I'm gonna kiss someone else as <laughs> I'm a gonna last man. Ever kiss no tongue, no tongue. No tongue, dude. Tom Sandoval. Just oh, and there it is. There it is. The iconic Tom Tom photo that, wow, a lot of people have kissed. I, you know what? You know what? I'm glad that we did this because Lisa had this moment blown up and John Legend and Chrissy Teigen kissed underneath this. Like, you know, it's, it's a sign of trust and friendship. Trust and the fact that, you know, He's not gonna slip the tongue. You know what I mean? Like, it's trust. It's good friend. Sandoval and Schwartz are secretly in love with each other. Not so secretly. They're openly in love with each yeah, other. Yeah, we are openly in love with each other, Kristen. But hey, I will say, 
Schwartz and I have this, we have this deal. We have this deal. We have, we have a goal. Our goal is to like, you know, be on our deathbeds and be like, dude, we did push the limits at times, but I'm gonna die a happy man because I never actually had to see your dick. Cheers to that. Well, I gotta say that's, that it's, it's been a lot. It's been emotional for me. And you know what? I, sometimes you gotta face your past. It's been a great pleasure hanging out, going back, seeing all these things. If you guys have anything else that you want me to react to, just let me know in the comments below. Click, subscribe, like, and I just wanna say thank you for going on this journey with me. We got a whole lot more coming. In season nine, oh, just get ready.